many more lined up. Do stay with us. Let's start with our stories now. And the chief of Tama, the late Nadapema Mohammed Dawuni Al Hassan, is to be buried today, Sunday, July 15, in line with Islamic tradition. He died at the age of 76 at the Tamale Teaching Hospital where he was receiving treatment after a short illness. Tamale is in a state of mourning following the demise of the illustrious ruler with no business activities ongoing within the enclave ahead of his burial. The chief's sudden death has shocked many residents who have eulogized him as somebody who was development oriented. Many are praying that the late chief successor would follow his remarkable footprints. Now joining me on the phone line is our Northern Regional Correspondent Christopher Amwaku who's been following developments in Tamale. Hello Christopher. Hello. Now has the chief, that's the late chief, been buried? Yes. Uh, not yet. Uh, as we speak, a lot of people uh, made up of traditional leaders from far and near are in Tamale for the burial. The necessary rites uh, have since been performed by the Gumana, uh, chief of Kapaili, in accordance to uh, tradition. And the death, uh, the death of the uh, late Dakwemana Dasana has been officially announced around 10.40 a.m. So um, we are told that sooner than later his body will be carried for barrier around the central uh, um, uh, market, amidst singing and dancing in line with uh, tradition, uh, they will pass around the market to uh, give him his very last respect before uh, taking him to his final resting place. Now, from what we have, business activities have been put to a halt. Also, some of the residents they have eulogized him as someone who was development oriented. Now, what else have people been saying, and what are activities really ongoing there? Yes, uh, people are really uh, shocked at the uh, demise of the chief because uh, many are saying that just a couple of days ago uh, they visited him at his palace and uh, he looked strong. Uh, he lost the sister and uh, today happens to be the Adua and he had promised that the Adua was going to be uh, well organized. Unfortunately, uh, little did he know that he was not going to leave to see uh, today. And uh, people are eulogizing him, especially on the uh, um, his educational fund uh, that uh, he started uh, and uh, giving alms to needy uh, but brilliant students. So uh, a lot of people are just talking about that, especially one other aspect is also uh, his commitment to serving uh, the people of Tamale, because if you look at him, most of them are saying that um, when he was alive, he worked with all government appointees in the region. He never despised any of them. He worked with them to ensure that there is uh, uh, total development in the region. And about the business activities, are they still at a halt? Yes, yes. You know, the Dakwemna uh, literally means the chief of the markets. And for that matter, markets, uh, anything that has to do with business will have to be put to a, a halt until the chief is buried. Um, any updates on what's next after the burial, finally? Yes, uh, speaking to the uh, PRO uh, of the palace, Mr. Abbas, he, he indicated that uh, they will get a successor immediately because they have three gates, and uh, the gate that will succeed uh, the late chief, they are already probably they have their successor. So uh, once the funeral, is, uh, the burial is over, they will set. Uh, you, you know, the new chief will have to come and perform the final funeral rites of uh, the late chief before he will be in skin. All right. Well, thank you so much for that update. Who we'll bring us more as and when he has some in the soul of the late.